Praise be to God and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ruth Shiro and today's message about prayer will be a blessing to you, so stay tuned. So I was meditating on the book of Genesis chapter 25 verse 20 and it talks about a man called Isaac and at the age of 40 years old, the Bible says that he got married to a beautiful woman called Rebecca. But he was facing a challenge. One, his wife was barren, and two, he was almost 60 years old. I mean, time was running out for him and he had to do something about it. So the Bible says that he went before the Lord and he pleaded his case. He cried and he begged for God to give him a child and the Lord listened to his prayers. Now, when I was reading this particular chapter, I thought it was a bit ironic because a couple of chapters prior, Genesis chapter 17 verse 4, the Bible says that the Lord had already prophesied to his parents, both Abraham and Sarah, and he told them, you shall be a father of many nations, and I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and kings shall come from you. And God promised them all this would take place through their son, Isaac. So why is Isaac praying for something that God had already promised? Is it that God is a liar and he doesn't keep his word? I mean, why is Isaac struggling to have a child? Why are you experiencing unanswered prayers, especially when God made a promise to you? Would that miracle come to pass? So many questions. But please be encouraged and know that delay is not denial. God is not a liar and he always keeps his promises. He always keeps his word. The Bible says he has exalted his word above all his name. Psalms 138 verse 2. If you are praying according to God's will, he will definitely bring it to pass, whether you feel it or not. Look, there's an explanation for why you have to pray while you wait on the Lord. One thing you have to remember is all of God's promises are yes and amen, and he fulfills them in his perfect and beautiful timing, according to his infinite wisdom. At times, gifts that are easily given can be easily taken for granted. God has to get you ready for that miracle. Amen. So just because he gave you his word, it doesn't mean we are exempted to pray while we wait for him. We must intercede for that promise to come to pass. So cry out to the Lord. Remind him of what he said. Plead your case before the Lord and pray. Believe in the Lord your God and I promise you he will bring it to pass in Jesus name. Now according to Matthew 7 7 it says, Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be open. For everyone who asks receives and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks it shall be open. You need to continue knocking on that door in prayer over and over again, and he will open it with signs and wonders. As I finish, what has God promised you? Is it a business? Is it a home? Is it healing? Is it a ministry or is it a family? Whatever it is, immerse that promise with prayer. Speak words of life over that promise and don't give up. Prophesy over your life and you will see his wonders be fulfilled. First and foremost, you need to remember, you cannot bring that promise to pass, but God will in Jesus' name. And all glory and honor will go back to him. Your miracle and testimony will lead people to Christ, adding more to the kingdom of God. Let me encourage you with this. The prayer of Isaac changed his life forever, and God blessed his wife, Rebecca, with twins. 
Hannah also was facing a similar challenge, but she prayed and God gave her a son, a prophet named Samuel. And because God knows how to bless without holding anything back, he added five additional children because she believed in the Lord her God. Lastly, Elizabeth and her husband waited for a child and they prayed for years regarding this issue. God visited them and they received a son, a prophet for the nation who prepared the way for the Lord Jesus, according to Mark 1.3, and his name was John. Pray according to God's will and you will not be disappointed. You will not be ashamed in Jesus' name. If you have been blessed by this message, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Thank you.